Hello everyone and welcome to my latest Star Trek lore video. Today we will be going over the rank insignia worn by Starfleet officers during the different eras of the Prime Timeline. We'll start off with an overview of the officer ranks used by Starfleet, which were based on the ranks used by the United States Navy. Starting with the lowest commissioned officer rank we have Ensign, Lieutenant Junior Grade, or sometimes just referred to as JG, a full lieutenant, lieutenant commander, commander, and captain. These six ranks are the ones you would typically see on board a starship or a space station. Above these ranks you have the flag officers, used for commanding large groups of ships or often seen at Starfleet headquarters. There is Commodore, Rear Admiral, Vice Admiral, Admiral, and Fleet Admiral. Since the time of the original series, the rank of Commodore has been phased out of use in the United States Navy in the real world. And as such, during the TNG era, it appeared that the rank was defunct in Starfleet as well, at least until it showed up again in the first season of Star Trek Picard. Moving on, we will look at the 2150s, corresponding to the show Star Trek Enterprise. In this time period, the rank pips were worn on the right shoulder of the officer's uniforms. On the ranks we have confirmed on screen are Ensign, Lieutenant, Commander, and Captain for the line officers. If the other ranks were present at the time, they were not seen. And for the flag officers, whose insignia were worn on both shoulders, we had a Commodore, a Rear Admiral, and a Vice Admiral. Moving on from here until the 2260s and 70s, corresponding to the original series and TMP, we have rank braids being shown on the cuffs of the uniforms. During the 2260s, ensigns, like the enlisted crew, had no rank insignia shown on their sleeves. However, by the 2270s, it had been adopted to use a broken braid to show the rank of ensign, whereas the rank of lieutenant was shown by a full braid. However, there is still apparently no distinction between the two grades of lieutenant in this time period. However, we see the introduction of lieutenant commander with one broken and one full braid, commander with two full braids, Captain with two full braids and one broken braid. Regarding the flag officers, there is a slight distinction in style between the two decades, although they are still very similar. The ones seen on screen include Commodore, Rear Admiral, and Vice Admiral. Starting at about the late 2270s and considering continuing into the 24th century, Starfleet adopted a radically different uniform style, and along with it, a new set of rank insignia for their officers. Starting off with Ensign as usual, but now we see for the first time chronologically a distinction between Lieutenant J.G. and the full lieutenant. Continuing on with Lieutenant Commander, Commander, and Captain. These rank pins were typically worn on the right shoulder of the uniforms, as can be seen in the image here. And as for the flag officers, we have the customary Commodore, Rear Admiral, Vice Admiral, Admiral, and Fleet Admiral. Starting in approximately the 2350s, Starfleet overhauled their uniform styles again and introduced a system of ranks based on gold and black pips worn at the right collar of the uniforms with slight variations this system was maintained until the end of the 24th century. For an ensign you have one gold pip, Lieutenant JG with one gold and one black, a full lieutenant two gold pips, Lieutenant Commander two gold with one black, Commander with three gold, and a Captain with four gold pips. When you get over to the flag officers, during the TNG era, 
the rank pips will be shown with boxes on both sides of the collar, with the exception being the modified style seen in the late 2390s in Picard, in which case the box was, instead of a rectangle, a trapezoid shape, and once again only appeared on the right side of the uniform. We have the usual Commodore, Rear Admiral, Vice Admiral, Admiral, and Fleet Admiral. Well, that brings us to the end of this quick overview of the rank insignia you'll see among Starfleet officers. What would you all like to see next as I continue my study of Star Trek lore? If you have any suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you all have a blessed day.